that time, in order for the people at that time, so they talked about the Roman Senate and the first, and these, and, and you know, the Greeks and the Romans and birthplace of democracy. But all those are later concepts, and those are concepts that was given by the Senate. But the actual people of that land, if you didn't have a central religion or a central system of spirituality, the people would rebel. So what happened was they had these Hebrews in the area that had a proud tradition of whatever they was into based on their religion. Mm -hmm. So the Roman citizens is going, look, we favor them because these people uh, 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 have a central way of worship, a central way of life based on their religion or based on their system of spirituality. At that particular time, the Roman mythology of Romulus and Remus right. had fallen into disrepair because the, 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 the Roman emperors was, was telling everybody that they were the gods. So you worship Caesar. So as a result, after a couple of hundred years, the actual central theme of mythology started falling into disrepair. And they knew that the Roman people would start to rebel. But then they started seeing the Roman people gravitating to around a new offspring of Hebrewism at that particular time, which was early Christianity. Which is different from the Christianity that the Romans did. I'll tell you that, that in a minute. But they were going to, uh, it was Gnosticism, and the Hebrew thing, and the, the, the central people in the culture started looking at people outside of Rome as a central aspect of spirituality. And if Rome couldn't convince the people that to follow Caesar, mm -hmm. then the people would rebel, and Rome would fall. So Rome said, look, we have to get a central religion. They say now, The Egyptians invested in Greece with all these texts. We took over Greece, so now we own all of the texts. Mm -hmm. So what they did was, they knew that some of the things that the early Christians and the early Hebrews was dealing with wasn't nothing but Egyptian mythology and Egyptian science anyway, and they owned all of those particular texts. And they got together with a series of conferences and put together what we call the Central Christianity now. The only thing was the Central Christianity had a, 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 a deeper discipline that the Hebrews and those particular early Gnostics and stuff went by. And the Romans say, well, look, some of these things, you know, like not eating pork or not being able to drink like certain things. And some of these disciplines, they say, well, look, we will... We were put in the new religion to accommodate the Romans who was used to gluttony. <laughs> you see, same thing happened in the period of when they were trying to get the European after after the Romans usurped the, the Christianity and tried to get the Europeans to follow Christianity. The Christian Europeans said, Well look, we'll follow Christianity, but we gotta take our festivals and our different practices. You gotta incorporate them into Christianity. So all this, these winter solstice and these festivals later on became Christianity, Christmas, and, the, and some of these festivals that the Europeans had around that time, they just usurped them and put them into the, 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 the Christian holidays, um, or made them into Christian holidays. But if you trace them back, if you, tra if you trace them back, you will see that they, 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 they were pagan in that particular way, which was the pay, uh, you know, some of these festivals. Right. So now, so as a result, Rome had to make a central religion of the state, but they had to make a religion that could accommodate, that can accommodate, um, that can accommodate um, the, mass. the, the, the masses of Rome. Just like now, it's easier to be a Christian than a Muslim, or either a, or either a Hebrew, or, 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 or the Jewish thing later on. Why? Because Christianity, you get to do certain things. Mostly, basically, you can do the hell you want as long as you ask the Lord to forgive you. Right. 
You see, and that accommodates. That's why we ask the question: Well, if, 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 if you don't even supposed to eat pork, why do Christians eat pork? Because they said that what the Romans it goes all the way back to Rome. What the Romans did for the Roman citizens, and they said it was also the Paul Pauline doctrine. You see, Paul was a Roman citizen. Paul was also an agent for Rome. Right. You see. So he fashioned the Christianity without the strict doctrines so that the Roman people could acquiesce it. You see what I'm saying? And that's what central Christianity is about is it's, a, it's, it's something that is designed for Roman consumption and later on European consumption. Correct. You see what I'm saying? European consumption. Because it because the African way of it, you start getting into ways of life. Certain things you don't create. And we see this when we see the Christianity. We even see this when we see uh Judaism, which is ancient, it's spin off of ancient Hebrew. It's just that we don't know what them Jews do, but they got all these strict rules and stuff. Well, stuff gotta be kosher. You see what I'm saying? We don't eat no shellfish. You see, so different things like that. But the Romans, they made it so, hey, it could be a party. <laughs> we can go to the party with this. You see, now going back let, to... Let me ask you though, yeah. when they were killing Christians, right. these were black people they were killing. They were black people Explain they were killing, and they was, they, these were the people that they were usurping their religion from. Okay. You see what I'm saying? See, they was killing the ones, they said, no, we got, it's just like this, to say, look, um, we're trying to take this religion. But if we got some people that's got practices that's different than the Romans, we got to take them out if we're going to make this religion central and conduce it to us. So the ones that they were killing was the original Christians. They're saying that the original Christianity don't even resemble the Christianity that we have now because the original Christianity was a spinoff from the Hebrew aspect which had a lot of codes and laws. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when they, so those sets that they were killing, it wasn't it, 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 it wasn't they were kill, it, they were killing Romans or they were killing um, people that had the same faith. No, they were trying to cover up the fact that there was groups of people that had another indigenous way of worshiping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see. And they had to get rid of this because Paul, the, the Pauline doctrines had much more um, uh, uh, what you call a, a pseudo type of practices that the Roman people could get with. You got to realize we're talking about people that used to go to coliseums just to see black people getting killed. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You know, we talk about people like Caligula with all kind of perverted sex acts and stuff like that. And we talk about people where a central part of them mm -hmm. was gay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if, if we got to have a new religion, we're going to have to have a new religion that can accommodate that gay stuff. And that later on became the Catholic Church. Wow. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, the original Hebrew say if a man don't have no kids, may he rot. But all of a sudden now the doggone priest went from patriarchs to having a hundred head of children and wives to you can't have no wife. And all that is is some type of central way to accommodate Homosexual. homosexuality. Mm -hmm. That from the Greeks and the Romans, it was asexual. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You see, so a lot of these things, a lot of this stuff that we we have coming down to us, but now you must understand this though. You must understand this. Now, if you if you if you look at history from let's say if you're out in space and you're looking at it as a, as a central point, it would it, 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 it might not be as as tragedy, as tragic, but it's personal to us because we got the rough part of it. But if you try to look at how the world goes, and let me give you an example. The spirit world told us one time 
that the Bible had to come into existence of a lot of moral code or ethics for the Europeans coming up from the lethargy of, of barbarism. So they had to have a code book because they didn't have the type of rites of passage as well as in Africa, you just didn't do things because you raised in a society that has rites and passages that stuff is not heard of. You see, whereas these people were coming out of barbarism and they needed them, they didn't have the type of rites and passages. So they needed a book that they could go to the book and say, don't do this and don't do that. And later on, that became the central part of the religion as a code of ethics. But in our honesty, that was a, a, a rites of passage for the Europeans. So in so many words, they needed that book. The Bible was central. Look what they did when they got the Bible and how they killed the world. Can you imagine that they didn't have that? Can, you can just imagine when the Romans got out of pocket, threw away their religions. They don't deal with Zeus, which is Jupiter at the time. They don't deal with that, you know... They get to the point where as the Senate and Caesar is God. And look what they could do just by not having a code of ethics. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not having a code of ethics. So a lot of these things that went on, the reason why the Christianity had to come up out of that, it wasn't written for us. It wasn't for our history. It was for later day Europeans. Now, dealing with that, we have to understand this. Looking back to the ancient Egyptians, looking back to the ancient Egyptians, um, first of all, I want to say this about Rome. Rome had to come into being to, so that even the Africans could have a central experience of living with white people later on. So the Rome had to come in and be brutal, because even what's the name said it? Look, he said um, uh, Hannibal's father. And Hannibal's father is called a Moor. Mm -hmm. um, even Hannibal's father said, look, those people, the Romans are people that come in and you have to deal with them but what he was trying to say here is that you're going to have to have this experience. And what I mean by that is this. To this day, black people are at a disadvantage of dealing with white people because of the simple fact that we think that white people think like us, and they don't. You see, we think in a humane way, and we always make the mistake saying, well, this white man, he gonna, he's going to deal with this like I would deal with it. And we run up and butt, as they say down south. Because the simple fact we don't understand, this man has a whole nother mindset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? He has a whole nother mindset. You see, our morality is not based on laws and code of ethics. Our morality is based on us being the original humans. Certain things we didn't do. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because we were the blueprint of humanity. Right. We were humanity. So they were saying, look, there's going to be a whole lot of non-human activity. And when you say non-human, let's, let's clear this up. Non-African activity. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's going to hit the world. So Rome has to come into being to be this brutal mirror so that we can have some type of calculation on how to deal with these people. Let me, let me explain what I'm talking about here. Let's say you got a whole bunch of wild animals. You got to put them in a cage or you got to put them in an area you got to see what eats this and what eats that and experiment with them just to see how these people are going to be. You see. Now we know that the Egyptians already knew because we got text, the, the, uh, 
uh, uh, the text, this guy, Alan H. Gardner, which was a great Egyptologist, um, wrote on these texts. It's a text in France called Abduction Extraordinaire. Never was translated into English, but it says that these, it talks about these people. He said these people that live in, in Europe with these mountains, that their way of communication is not a clear one because they're always grumbling. Because they were saying they even had to be taught how to talk, how to speak. Count Barney talked about that in Ruins of Empire. But in this Egyptian text, in this Egyptian text, they said that these people are always grumbling. They have a reprehensible sex act, which means, you know, whatever got a hold, it don't matter. They can even fuck animals. <laughs> These are the Egyptian texts that they get over in France. And stuff. I was able to lucky to own one of these because it was a book came out called Set the God of Confusion by T. H. Valdi. It's in most libraries, it's in most um it's in most uh college libraries, but it was never published as far as a book for central publication. It's mostly in college libraries and stuff like that. You know, the colleges got books that they never published to the public. They only published for the colleges. And this book set the God of Confusion. They actually have these texts from France in there. Where they talk about these people, you know, and they say these people do not announce the day of battle. So you have to understand what they're trying to say. They say these people here are unfair. You see, if you have a disagreement, you're all going to come together and you're going to disagree, have the right to disagree. These people here will kill you without even, you even knowing that you even you had a problem with them or they had a problem with you. Mm -hmm. So it goes into all, it's what this, these texts are trying to say in the Egyptian terms. And these texts may be about three, 4,000 years old. And what they were trying to say, they were looking at the Europeans and all, you know what I'm saying? And they were saying, you know, uh, 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 these people, you know, these people are not, don't, they we're trying to tell the people because these were in religious texts, don't look at these people and say that they got the same type of mindset that you have as a human mindset. This is something new that's coming to the earth. So by the time the Romans came, that's what, why Hannibal and them fathers said, you're going to have to deal with these people. But Hannibal went in and he kicked their ass. They said in one day battle, he killed 70 Thousand. You see. And he kicked their behind and they said he, but this is what he did to show you the mindset. Because the Europeans now looking at this said that he came all the way to the gates of Rome. And they said he turned around and went home. They wanted to know, they can't understand these war generals studied him. And they wanted to know, they couldn't understand, why didn't you go in and take Rome like they would have done? If they come in for conquest, they're going to conquer it. You see what I'm saying? And they're going to be there for a couple of hundred years until they fall weak. So they're saying, why didn't you take Rome like they took the Indians or Native Americans over here? Or like they took the South Africa? Why didn't you come in? You had them beat. But what they didn't understand, and to this day, these European generals can't understand why he did his battle, he proved his point, and then he went to fuck home. They couldn't understand why he didn't use Rome as a weapon, of, uh, as, as, as a situation of conquest. It's because that's not his nature. That wasn't his nature to conquer Rome. What he was trying to do was kick them in the ass so he could fortify Carthage for a few more years. You see. And so, you see, so it's, it's, it's a lot of things, which, which later on, so in so many words, Rome had to be, so that we could have the experience of what atrocities would come, you see what I'm saying, with later European cultures, which leads us to the Egyptian priests again, no one again, because they did it twice, they, they say we got to further this information to Greece and Rome, and then during the time of, of um, 
Muhammad's invasion into Egypt. The Egyptian priest once again said, we have to take this information to Europe. Now why? They said after they closed the last temple, they closed the last temple of Isis at Philae. For some reason, I don't know if it was spiritual, they said Europe went into a dark age. I think it went into a dark age because after Rome fell, you see what I'm saying? They how never did, had how this. Did Rome fall? Huh? How did Rome fall? Well, it deteriorated based on like anything else, from corruption. And Rome fell after its reputation was found out. Rome was weak for a couple of years, but they had killed so many people until they had a representation. You don't mess with Rome. But remember they said that the, 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 the German vandals, they, they were illiterate, so they didn't get the memo that these people wasn't nothing to fuck with. And they went up in there and kicked Rome ass. <laughs> you see, so it deteriorated over the years based on based on um based on corruption. And also they they with Constantine. Although he, you know, they say he, didn't he kill his mother and his daughter or something like that? He turned it into a Christian country and stuff. You see what I'm saying? Um, it was weakened for the simple fact that it meant that they couldn't, if they're going to do the army thing, they're going to have to do it in another fashion. They're going to have to have the Holy Roman Empire. But it's a Holy Roman Empire. So they got to hide behind the Pope when they do these conquests, but it's not going to be the same might of the Caesars. You see what I'm saying? They're just going to have to just rule in another way. In actuality, they, they never did fall. They just acquiesced Europe with the religion, so it became a religious domination. You see what I'm saying? Um, a religious domination and stuff. The military failed, but they had a new way to rule. You see, the new, new way to rule is the same thing when we talked about the Queen of the uh, Prince Charles after he got his ass whipped over here and they couldn't deal with guerrilla warfare. Mm -hmm. uh, where these rednecks was over here fighting. They said, no, nah, you go over there, they're going to beat you a hundred years. They said, just regroup and we will take over financially. And then we'll put, because of the finances, we'll put the heads of the government will be connected to the Queen. And we'll rule that way, rule through secrecy. Mm 